<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Earlier we told you, uh, we took you inside AVP, and that stands for Altavia Pizzeria. It's a new pizza restaurant in Bakery Square in Pittsburgh, and it has more than just pie, too. But pizza, of course, yeah. is the star, and we wanted to see what goes into making them so special. So we rolled up our sleeves, we dusted our hands with a little flour, and started rolling out the dough. With all the ingredients in the mixer, David and I got to work. I'll be Ethel. No, no, I'll be Ethel. I'll be Ethel. You be I'll Lucy. Be, okay, fine, I'll be Lucy. Okay, all right. Surprisingly, the folks at Altavia Pizzeria did not kick us out. They let Ethel and Lucy keep on working. Okay, we got it. We're gonna do two different types of dough. You ever stretched pizza dough before? I have no. no. You would think that would give me an advantage, but think again. Fingertips, dimpling in the center, making that crust on the outside. AVP executive chef Darren Lair showed us how to lay out the dough and spin, telling us on a Friday night they have to do this at mock speed to keep up with the orders. And you're gonna kinda fit your hands right in that crust. And now the motion is just spinning, easy peasy. I'm realizing now that I actually don't know what to do. That's perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> David and I both took turns trying to stretch our own pizza dough. It's not supposed to look like this. This can't be saved. No. But apparently this can't be saved. <laughs> what sauce do you want? That one. There you go, roasted tomato, good choice. You know what comes next. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was homemade mozzarella, which Darren used for the house margarita. Yeah, that doesn't look like a lot of mozzarella, but this fresh mozzarella is gonna melt very, very nice. We'll get it all out of there. He also threw together one of their other specialties, their square pepperoni classic. We each picked our own toppings to complete the pies. Look at this. Make it a pretty little pizza. Yeah, you're gonna be great. I'm talking to my pizza, is that normal? I don't know if that's normal. I have artichokes. I have caramelized onions. I have mozzarella. And fontina cheese. And vodka sauce. So basically the kitchen sink, and into the oven they went. Kind of shake it off and pull it out nice and gently, just like that. All right. Not bad. Oh! <laughs> yeah! You're on the payroll now, buddy. Tippy toes, tippy toes. Good. Yes. Boom. Right. Boom. The All ovens right. are set to 600 degrees and timed perfectly. All right, you're ready to go. Okay, am I ready to go? I'm not sure I'm ready to go. Darren says I am, though, so we'll try. Here you go. Darren's pizza, of course, looked like perfection. He's the pro. Behind, chef. And at every step, I feared David was going to lose a finger, while Bill Fuller watched like a parent, knowing their kid was messing up but had to learn the lesson. Right, that might not have been perfect, but you know what? It's going to be delicious. But we got enough approval from Darren to send our orders out for tasting. Pick up. Mine was up first. Mmm, that's really good. What a combo. I would order this pizza. David's was superb. If I do say so myself, it's delicious. So good. <laughs> Next up, the pizzas you can actually order on the menu. Oh yeah. So much different than ours. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> like, actually done right. Mm-hmm. And the basil, it's really wow. good. It just tastes fresh. And the sauce is sweet, but not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. That was the margarita, but the square just hits different. It looks really good. And it, it's really hot. It's straight out of the oven. I'm done talking. I'm just eating now. And look at these little crispy edges. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that we got corner pieces. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. That was so much fun. The best assignment ever. I love the pizza with like the crispy around the edges oh, there. Oh, so, so good. good. <laughs> I have to just throw this out there. Chef Darren, congratulations. Yes. Because he and his wife just had a baby. So I know that he's spending some precious time at home, but they are getting ready because the dining room opens mm -hmm. on April 12th. They've been doing takeout orders out of that little nook that they have, which has been great. But now they're actually opening up the dining room. And it really is a great space. It there. is. So it's, it's, so it's wonderful. a fun addition to all the, the Pittsburgh restaurants that we can go to. And we're going to have more on PittsburghTodayLive.com if you want to check out their menu, take a look ahead of time, and uh, we'll have all of it posted for you there. 